Acts of Congress in 1863 revoked all treaties between the U.S. government and the Dakota. This meant that all but a few protected groups of Dakota were exiled from Minnesota. Minnesota's Ho-Chunk Indians, though not involved in the war, were also expelled from the state. They were taken by barge down the Mississippi and then up the Missouri, up to Crow Creek. That was a desolate place. A lot of people died. My family scattered everywhere. Sioux Valley, Pipestone Creek, Crow Creek, Santee, Flandreau. Many Dakota were considered fugitives after the war, and the government began paying bounties for Dakota scalps. Being Dakota means that you were guilty before any consideration of being innocent. Families were torn apart, and I just wonder how my relatives made it through all of that. In the spring of 1863, a military campaign against the Dakota moved west. Expeditions drove the Dakota and their relatives further and further west of the Missouri River, and after 1865, turned into a long series of wars with the Western Dakota and Lakota, ending with the Wounded Knee Massacre in 1890. To be Dakota in Minnesota, what they went through, it overwhelms me. It takes me to why my people are the way they are today, why we haven't healed. It takes me back to praying for those ancestors. I'm here because they survived. <laughs>